A PE approach is, is all about empowering people. We think of uh, people as leaders in their lives. They don't have to you know, be the boss of something or a counsellor or whatever. It's everyone has to lead in their life and make decisions for themselves and their families. Lockhart River is a, a small, very remote community. There's about 600 people here. Weeper's a four hour drive, Cairns is a 12 hour drive, so we're in the middle of nowhere. The Pui Foundation is something that, rightly so, people of Lockhart are very proud of. The board is made up of local members um, and it's a vehicle from which people within Lockhart River can, can identify issues and identify needs within the community. The centre being changed, it, it changed all of us. I think it's a wonderful model of uh, Indigenous and non-Indigenous people working together in, in partnerships. Foundation to continue to do what they're doing is absolutely pivotal. For children who haven't been exposed to an educational setting, they haven't learned those skills such as turn taking, listening to your teacher, even just sitting. The idea of holding a pair of scissors and cutting in a straight line is really abstract. They haven't done that before. It excites all of us to think of what we can do to continue to support our children and their education in Lockhart River. I want to see them from here to graduate from school, look for a better job, come back to the community and start running the community. Some people think that this is just an early years program or a kindy, but it's not, it's so much more than that. We're actually developing everyday leaders in everything that we do. You know, the three areas of the young kids, the employment for the young men and the women are getting empowered. I think when something works, I think you've got to support it. The Women's Leadership Program is about building individual and collaborative leadership in the community. So it's to help women get the confidence and the skills to speak out and to act by themselves and together uh, to achieve the things they see need to be done in this community. It, it brings up the voice or brings them out of the shell, make them, you know, come alive or something. You can talk and people, are, you become like a role model for our little for our little kids here and even for the younger younger ladies that still are going to school. I've actually seen it in my body like I didn't even realize it was there. You know we talk about feelings and you know connections, uh, sociometry and you know all these words I've actually learned a lot. From the Women's Leadership Program we see women um, speaking out more so instead of sitting back in forums um, and not saying what they think and not bringing forth their own wisdom. They're actually speaking out about what they think and what they want. As a foundation, we, uh, we're coming up to our 10th anniversary at the end of this year. And um, we have amazing achievements in the community in that 10 years. From the last couple of years back, everything's sort of moving good here now. Like but we need more support coming into the building. So often in Indigenous policy, you see initiatives and things that are put in place for election cycles. To see real outcomes in Indigenous communities, you need longevity, you need the trust within the community, you need the respect, and that's how real change is gonna be affected, how real progress is gonna be made. We know what works. We need support to continue and grow what we know is working. If we can invest in community empowerment at a grassroots level and if we can do that in a sustainable way not just for a three-year election cycle then we really will make a difference in Indigenous health, education, housing for the next generations. They have that vision that, that this, this is a, a long-term commitment um, and we're, we're really delighted to, to be on board with them. When people invest in peer programs they're changing the direction of people's lives. They're giving children a future that they wouldn't have. 